Hi, this is Danny. The channel's You and Me Living Free, and I cannot wait to tell you about this one. <laughs> I am going to show you beautiful views. I am going to share all that kind of touristy stuff, but also in this video, I want to tell you what it was like, number one, when my bottom was too big for the seat and how uncomfortable I, I was. Number two, how to pick the best seat to get on the COG railway because seat choice is everything. Well, almost everything. Um, it makes a huge difference which seat you choose. So I'm going to be very specific with you on this. And none of the other YouTube uh, videos that I watched prior to doing this told me this in this kind of detail. So I'm going to tell you that. I'm also going to tell you what to do to prep for the trip so that you are as comfortable as possible. And I'm going to tell you the best dive place to eat after or before your trip. So stick around. Right now we're driving up to the parking lot for the Cog Railway for Pikes Peak. And this is Manitou Springs. And it is a darling little town with tons of little shops and everything. There's something for everyone here. If you love to shop, you will love this place. I do not love to shop. I do not love fighting for parking. For the Cog Railway, I had to pay $15 for a place to park. I did not love that either. <laughs> but if it's your thing, hey, this is a great place. <laughs> Okay, on to the railway. I'm sitting here. We're just getting started. We haven't even left. And I'm trying to be so positive here. There's a couple things I want to show you. First is this guy sitting a couple of rows away. And we can see that almost a third of his body is kind of hanging off the seat. He's lucky enough to have an aisle. And then his wife next to him is kind of sitting slanted in her seat. And then there's a gentleman up a couple aisles up. You can see another a third of his body is hanging off the seat. So I'm probably almost as big as either one of those guys, and I am on a window seat. Why am I on a window seat? Because I have a YouTube channel, and because I paid $70 for this seat, and because I didn't want to miss a single thing. <laughs> But I'm not looking very happy because I, it's starting to sink in that this is going to be over an hour on the way up and another hour on the way back. And I'm realizing I don't have enough space and I'm very, very uncomfortable. Okay, the number one thing on the COG Railway is seat choice. You pay $10 extra to be able to pick your seat instead of getting what they give you. It is worth the $10. You're going to pay $60 without picking your seat and $70 with picking your seat. So go ahead and pay the extra $10 if you're going to do it. Here's the beautiful diagram that I have shown you. Okay, I'm in the back of the car. Being in the back of the car is not smart because when I looked up, there's a nice window, but it's also, you can see my view is obscured. If I had been in the middle of the car or the front of the car, I, instead of seeing that big orange wall, I would have seen more people's windows and had a better view and been able to take in more. Back to my beautiful diagram, I want you to imagine that you are in this railway car and you are sitting in the little spot that says me. I was facing backwards, so on the way up the mountain, I was facing down, but on the way back down the mountain, I was facing the same way. So I was facing down the whole time, and if you look at the angle, you're anywhere from like like 15 to 25 degrees at an angle. So you see that my whole body is trying to lean forward the entire time. And just to make sure you understand, you're in the same position coming and going. The train does not actually turn around. It just switches directions. So on the way home, I was on the way back, I was still leaning forward. Again, the trip is over an hour each way. So long story short, Pick an even numbered row and side seat A will get you on the window of the beautiful side. The other side, which I think is seat E, is facing a window, but it's also just facing the mountain. It's also beautiful over there, though. Do not get me wrong. And now I promise I'm done complaining about my bottom and the size of the seat. Now we're just going to enjoy some of this beautiful scenery while I tell you a bunch of other stuff that you need to know. Look at that lake. How gorgeous is that? Okay, three things you need to know if you're going to go. Number one, if you can acclimate yourself to the altitude for a day or two before you do something like this, um, because it is for real. Also, a day or two ahead, start hydrating yourself or the morning of or the night before. Start that hydration process so you are definitely hydrated. Now, on the same note, 
know that there is no bathroom on this train. So that means that for over an hour on the way up and over an hour on the way back, you will be needing to hold it. <laughs> so do all that hydration. Just don't do it immediately before boarding. Here's another thing you need to know. Here's the selfie at me at the top. It is, um, there's a snow flurries. At the bottom, it was 90 degrees. So even though we're rising in elevation from about 6,000 feet above sea level in Manitou Springs to about 14,000 feet on the top of Pikes Peak, I said to myself, well, 8,000 feet rise in elevation, about three degrees per 1,000 feet of elevation. I should be maybe 25 degrees cooler than on land. Actually, I'm going to feel great in my shorts and my little Columbia shirt and I'll be a little chilly, but I, but it won't be a big deal. I had no idea. It was like I had enough information just to be dangerous and know that those are estimations, but the wind and everything up here is so out of sight. <laughs> it's so extra and so special <laughs> that you just don't know how cold it is going to be. So be prepared. So just to sum up on my thing on Pikes Peak, I mean, I had issues because of my size. If I had done an even numbered seat, if I were in a smaller body, this would have actually been very enjoyable. Just be prepared for it. And now you know, so you can be. I hope this helps. And I was also going to share the best dive to get the best food in Manitou Springs. And here it is. It's called Vienna Station. It is only a couple of miles from the Cog Railway. And they have the best chili cheese dogs. They have the best pola sausage. And they have the best Philly cheesesteak sandwiches. They are amazing. But let me tell you what they don't have. They don't have any indoor seating. They do not have a bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> and it qualifies as a dive in every sense of the word. I happen to love dives, and I know this chili cheese dog looks terrible, but let me tell you, it was heaven. Heaven, heaven, heaven. Thank you for being here. I can't believe you made it to the end of a video. You deserve a medal. You know who else deserves a medal? Make it two medals or all of my patrons. Thank you so much. Special thanks to you and for everybody right now. I am sending you so much love and light. And uh, next time, Royal Gorge.